welcome to Magna. My name's Paul and I'd like to introduce you to my friend. This is Gus. Gus the lovable chimney sweep. There he is. Oh, look at his little face. Now Gus, he is a chimney sweep. He needs to clean the chimney. But as you can see, we have a little problem. Gus cannot fit down the chimney. Oh dear. So how are we going to get him down there? Well, what do you have at the bottom of every chimney? Fire. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use some fire. Fire needs three things to burn. Fuel, heat and oxygen. The oxygen can be found in the air all around us. The heat in this case is coming from my lighter and the sticks are my fuel. Hot air expands. The flames are causing the air inside the bottle to expand and push against the bottom of the balloon. Not a lot of oxygen is getting past the balloon and so the flames start to die out. As the flames die out, the air cools down and begins to contract. Suddenly there's less pressure at the bottom of the balloon and more pressure above the balloon from the air all around the bottle. And so... In it goes. Now a lot of people ask, how do we get gas out? Well, that's a very good question. As we saw earlier, it's all to do with hot air expanding. So, I could put a glove on to protect my hand, hold the bottle under a hot tap, and I could expand the air inside until gas popped out. Or, I could pull him out by his legs. Easy peasy. Try this yourself at home, but get a grown-up to help you because, of course, you should never play around with fire. You could try it with a water balloon like we did, or you could use a hard-boiled egg. Just take the shell off. Give it a go. Try it yourself. <laughs> 